Geese Radio project. I'm going to be going over a brief uh, web tutorial on how to start a CDBS account and apply for the low power FM radio license. Um, and able to help you find the FCC's spot for the application, we've created a link on our website that will forward you right there, prometheusradio.org forward slash CDBS. I'm going to go there, hit enter, and this directs me to the FCC Media Bureau CDBS account login. Since I don't have an account, I'm going to proceed here to create a new account, which will take me to a screen where I can put in um, the name of the applicant. So I'm going to put in the Prometheus Radio Project. Let's put in basic information Philadelphia I'm sure to put in the state zip code and save some of it for me but just go through and enter each one of the fields um, you're going to need to put in create a password next it's going to need to be at least eight characters long I'm going to create one that's seven and it will show us what happens so missed a few things here. City is required, zip code is required, phone number is required, password is not eight characters, and they do not match. So I'm um, going to go in and make sure we filled out everything correctly here. Philadelphia, PA. Have a number. And we'll go ahead and put in password at least eight letters long. We'll try this, create an account. So we have our account number. Now I'm going to take a minute, write that down. So we'll need to reference that in the next step. So I'm going to go down here to continue. I'm going to put in the account ID that I just wrote down. And our password. I'm going to click login. And here we are, the list of forms for the FCC. So we are looking for Form 318, Application for Construction Permit for Low Power FM Broadcast Station. I'm going to click there, and we see an error, missing contact rep information for this account. So we're going to click here to Account Update. Going to add uh, contact rep. Hit continue. Now I'm going to put my information in there. Okay. Check all the fields, zip code, phone, yep, should be the same. And we'll notice here we're just including a contact of an individual it's, um, associated with the organization that's going to be applying for the LPFM license. I'm going to click update this account, then return to main menu, and I'm going to try again, form 318. Now we'll see we're at the CDBS preform, um, which is good. It's going to allow us to, to choose um, what we're doing. In our case, we're going to be starting a new station and um, we'll be able to proceed from there with the rest of the application. Um, at here, too, there's a link to the PDF format, which is going to give me all of the information I need to know about eligibility requirements for the LPFM license. Thanks.